I think you get up to speed and then you stand on those foot plates. But anyway, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. <laughs> I, need to, I need that mystery to be solved. Uh, let me put the um, the furniture around the screen. And then roll VT on the Try Something Portuguese uh, video that we have and get straight into this tomato jam on okay. the other side. yeah. Round of applause for Casa de Matheus' uh, tomate, uh, well, dos de tomate, the sweetness of the tomato, the tomato sweet, which I am want to tomato call Tomato jam. I want to call it tomato jam. It's it the, is tomato jam. Why are you saying it so definitively? Why are you being like that? Okay. Okay. It is dos de tomate. It doesn't say tomato jam anywhere on here. What's the word for jam? Uh, dos, is it? I mean, dos is sweet, so it's the sweet of tomato, literally translated, I think you'll find. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pop the top. All right, but let's have the nice sound effect. Oh, it's not pop The top is not popping. It is fresh. The seal has not been broken of this tomato jam. You're looking a bit peevish there, Mrs. M. Am I? No, I'm listening. Okay, I'm waiting right, for the sound of the pop. Here we go. Oh, can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Give it here. No, I go to the gym quick. No, can, no, no. She wants to do it now. Oh, this could be bad. She did oh, it. Oh, well. I so don't know strong. if you heard that. Did you spray yourself with with essence of tomato jam? I hope it? not. Now let's look at the texture first of all. It's quite. Um, if I should I just put my finger in it? No, no. Well, okay, no, should no, I tip no. it on my head to show people how it how it is no, quite just... set in the jar? <laughs> no, I need to get a fresh knife. For Top you. notes. No, I'm going to double smells, dip. It smells like I'm ketchup. Double dip. It smells like ketchup but mixed it... with um with um. <laughs> marmalade for anyone who's going to have a moment now where i dip the buttery knife uh, into the you jam, cannot do that I am because do you it. no because you tell us all me. off for it hang know, on one second i'm going to do it i'm going to no, do don't, it don't don't why are you going to get my special butter knife <sighs> my french butter knife okay folks so you, here's the here's the toast i think that looks a nice bit of toast doesn't it uh or oh, butter everywhere yikes excuse me um did that was that a bit of butter flying onto the mixing disco two kinds of toast one a bit of a soury dough thing james advised me not to put butter on two knives what's that for uh just in case <coughs> is there a cat might... coming in to lick the butter as well now yeah right okay so the the um the we're trying something portuguese today is tomato jam and you can see it's got a nice texture to it if you're a jam maker and the novice jam maker aspires don't they to that texture you want that moment when it just solidifies slightly and you know will set inside the jar are you having some of this mrs m no thanks why? Because I'm giving up sugar. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible day to give up sugar. No, I gave up sugar yesterday. And like bread has got sugar in, plus it turns to sugar right. effectively inside the body. Yeah. And jam, full okay. of sugar. So right. no, thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Be like that. Um, accented vowels are our friends. I don't think that's for this part of the conversation. I mean, coming back to um, the, that toilet picture and, and that the, might be about the, and the zimmer scooter in a moment okay <laughs> so here we go vowels. it's nicely spread on that, that's a that, that's probably done I, I would say i don't know the butter is spread to the edges see the jam, i much not prefer so much. i much prefer to have tons of butter yeah okay and then we have like butter wars at home don't we okay send me a link says gary it's all sorts going on okay i'll do that uh, for you garvo um, this is for Garvo now, although anyone else could come onto the screen if they're really angry about how I've buttered my toast or something like that. Um, tomato is a fruit, or so they say. Fair point, Mr. S. So it is, it is, it is a fruit-based jam, and uh, Garvo is joining us in just a moment. And I'm going to, okay, without further ado, I'm going to, uh, and now there's a child in the studio as well. Fantastic. Cats, children. Okay, let's just give this a little nibble. Mmm. It's tomatoey. There's Mrs. M. Can you keep talking? Because I've got a mouthful of it. Yeah, sure. Um, I've had this before because one of um, um, where we've got a lovely uh, Portuguese neighbour who does um, driving to and through the airport. And I can read. You can read. Yeah, you can read. Well done. Um, and when he's um, like, I don't know. I, I think he really likes to gift us with little bits that are actually Portuguese. And so he's brought us some beautiful wine, and he's brought us some tomato jam that his wife made, and it was really tasty. It tasted actually not very tomatoey. It tasted much more like um, a strawberry, but that one I don't think smells as sweet. It, the, right. the boy's going in as well. What do you think of that jam, Solly? It's good. Oh, no, I'm going to put it on my legs now. 
<laughs> right. You get a cat lick it I'll tell you what, I really like it. No, I, and then the problem is I didn't think I was going to. Tomato jam, you think? See, I think, I think it would be all right with um, a really nice slab of cheese. Well, that's what people were saying. You know, I, like, I didn't um, want to push me luck. You know, Have we got you know any how, cheese? Um, yes, but you might complain about how... Oh, you've, you you've wrapped, wrapped it, actually, it. Because you were the last one to use it. Yeah, but that was show business. And it's, and it's, and it's terribly wrapped in the back of the fridge, I have to say. Um, right. So I, I would have it, like, uh, I went out with the boys, uh, well, all three kids, and we went to a lovely little restaurant by the sea on Caparica. Um, and we had um, some really nice cheese, and it came with, like, a, a marmalade, but also with Please a honey. speak into the microphone. A local honey, and that was really tasty. That is a great thing yeah. here in Portugal, isn't it? It's getting... <laughs> You only had the bread. Yeah, Solly had the onion rings, the artisanal onion rings. He wasn't and happy complained. because they had because onion they had in. Onion rings. Yeah. <laughs> that gives you an idea of our children's upbringing. The first real onion ring they have is a massive <laughs> shock to them. Right, I love this. I really like. I will be eating this again. That jar will not be waiting in the back of the fridge to to unleash on an unsuspecting visitor. Go mouldy. <laughs> or to say to you know visitors we have, hey, have you tried tomato jam? Because we've got to get rid of it somehow. That is great, and I do like the serving suggestions. We with we, we, we will have a sort of uh, deconstructed pizza, well, with the cheese, the cheese that I dare not oh, ask okay. for. So thank you, Mrs. M, for your help in this okay, matter. Uh, would you like a I would, I would, I would love a coffee, and I'm giving a double thumbs up for the tomato jam. Thoroughly commend it to the house. Tomato is a fruit. Well done, Sol. Uh, you're not a big fan of. Oh, Mrs. M's uh, touching things, and things are buzzing. Go on. What what is a tomato? Oh. Sorry? This is the interesting thing, Sol. You are saying that um, you're American because you say tomato. You want to be accepted by our American friends here and taken into the American bosom, as it were. If that doesn't make it more attractive, I don't the know only what bosom would. he likes are mine. Now, okay. how do you say tomato? Tomato or tomato? tomato. tomato. How could you? <laughs> my son saying tomato. <laughs> you Americans, what have you done to my child? Okay, comes from a comes from a flower. It's therefore a fruit. Um, and color me shocked. Uh, it's tomato. <laughs> okay, I know, but <laughs> what it's not as tomato as I feared it I might be. It. Go on, you, you read that. Go on. See, that's not a real word there, so tomato. tomato. And stop swinging from the microphone, you're making it buzz. Okay, right, we're gonna go. I think we need to go back to the jewel toilet now. Do you want to say goodbye? Uh, I need to get ready for my show, which is starting be, in how do Americans, 20 minutes. How do oh, all right? Thanks for the time, check. How do Americans say goodbye, soul? Nice and loud into the microphone, please. Into the microphone. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's not how they say it. Right. <laughs> Is that how they say it in Ohio? Ohio. The kids keep talking about Ohio for some reason, yeah, don't they? Is there some kind of meme or something? Or yeah, I think there must be. Yikes. Yeah, uh, and they keep saying, oh, "I'm going to send you to Ohio" or something like that. Don't they say, oh, "We're going to send you to Jesus"? They do say that yeah. as well. Yeah, which I I, don't, I take issue with. So I'll be talking to all of you later. <laughs> Prepare for a telling off. Yeah, so right. I'll see you all later if you join me um, at five minutes past ten. Okay, <laughs> best review so far of the show this morning from Sue's. Yes, cheers, Mrs. M. Um, Mrs. M's live stream. Retune for that on the Barefoot Broadcast channel. Odd um, is the comment so far from Sue's. We'll come back to, uh, yes, dual toilets and uh, Spartan FX, it would seem. Dueling toilets for good chums. If you weren't here at that point, uh, let me just give you the visual on that. Really enjoyed, although it's thrown out my normal breakfast of um, granola and yogurt and such things uh, for careful calorie control. But I've taken it for the team, the Try Something Portuguese team. And here is that double toilet, which I don't think I'll be needing.